What's up everybody, it's your boy Desmond with The Lens here today for another product re review video. Now today we're going to be talking about ND filters. ND filters are basically sunglasses for your camera. Now ND stands for neutral density. All that is is just controlling how much light hits the actual sensor inside of your camera. All you do is you screw it onto your camera and then you twist it either right or left to make it darker or brighter. Now, here's an example. Right now, I am at the maximum darkness that it can be. All you see right now is just a reflection. However, if it was a really bright day, this, what all this would be, would be 100 ISO on my camera. Now, as I twist it, all of a sudden, you can now see through the lens because now it's not blocking as much light. Now, as I said before, these are just sunglasses for your camera, so you will not use these all the time. So like on indoor shoots or in studio shoots, you will not need this. However, if you're outside doing on location portraits, group photos, landscape photography, animal photography, sports photography, these are going to save you in a pinch. Like, it is hard to have to continuously dial in certain controls on your camera while in the heat of the moment. But simply twisting this or adjusting it ever so slightly will make all the difference while you're on location. So here's an example that I would like to show you about ND filters. So right now, as you see, I'm nice and creamy. You know, you can tell all my colors are correct. Now look what happens when I take it off. I am just blown out. It is kind of bright out here, y'all. I'm actually pretty lucky because I usually don't get it on on the first try either. Now, these things typically cost anywhere from $10 all the way up to $300, all depending on the brand that you get, um, the features that it comes with, as well as the size of it. Um, this one I have right here in my hand was made by Gizikai and it's only about $20. Um, but this has no stop in it, meaning I will continuously twist this thing forever and it'll go from light to dark to light to dark. But that also means somewhere in the middle of the light to dark, there's what we call a double eclipse. So instead of it just being one flat tone, you'll see one tone dark, one tone light, and then somewhere in the middle. But that's only on these cheaper versions. On the more expensive versions, they have actual stops where after you hit a stop, it'll lock in place and you have to actually twist it either to the left or to the right. You will not continuously twist it. I personally have two ND filters. Um, one that is always on my 85 millimeter lens because I typically use that for outdoor shoots. The other one is gonna be on my 24 millimeter lens because that's what I use to vlog while I'm on location. Uh, I would suggest that every photographer has at least one lens inside of their camera bag for these kind of situations. They're not that big, they're not going to take up that much space, and if you don't even use it, what's 10 to 20 dollars that's always there for a just in case emergency? Like I said, they're actually not that expensive. If you actually just look down into the description, you'll see a link to the version that I have in my hand as well as a few others. Um. In order for you to figure out which size lens you need, you have to actually look at your lens. Now, around the lens, you'll see that there's written words with a bunch of numbers and symbols. Now, there is a specific one that has a circle with a line through it and then a millimeter, a certain millimeter size. That's the size that you would need in order for you to screw on to your actual lens. So, for instance, 
This is my kit 18 to 55 lens. This needs a 58 millimeter uh, lens, threaded lens, thread, 58 millimeter threaded ND lens in order to fit onto it. So if I was to grab the one that I had previously, which is actually a 68, it will not fit. It'll actually fit over the lens. So that's one thing you're gonna have to keep an eye out for when you're picking whichever lens you need to buy. But that's about it. If you're new to the page, please like and subscribe. We upload weekly videos about budget-friendly gear for photographers, whether you're a beginner, whether you're intermediate, or whether you are a pro. Thanks for watching.